The following contest is a thumbtack carpet strip match. Introducing first, from Long Beach, California, weighing in 195 pounds plus 5 pounds of top meat, Sexy Eddie! <laughs> John, here comes another one of our tournament virgins. I don't think he realized where he was going today. He looks dressed for a wedding. He's coming into the ultraviolet tournament of death. Sexy Eddie, he calls himself. From very Long Beach, California, he is a former champion up where these guys come from. The IWS, the tag champ on a couple of occasions, former WWS champion. But John, all those credentials mean absolutely jack shit when you walk into the tournament of death. Absolutely, Eric. I mean, this is what it's all about. The boss saying he claims that he's a man of opportunity. Yeah. He's given the IWS superstars a chance. As well as Ian Knox, as well as Chris Cash, and as well as Ruckus. I don't think he gave Ruckus a chance. I think he tried to screw Ruckus and try to put Ruckus out of CZW. I mean, could you imagine the phone call? Hey, kid, we got your team. We want to book you. Oh, yeah, that's great. What? The ultraviolet tournament of death. Yeah! Did you see what he was doing to those ropes? Like, I bet Feinberg would like that. Yeah, well, you know. Feinberg's behind the back. Look at his top. And look at where his career's wound up. In the back of the rider. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Couple words. It is my first time in, in this hole. It is my first time. I don't know. I must have got lost. Turned a left instead of a right. End up in this dump. A triple X Sex Express Sexy Eddie show. I take a girl in the ring and I do a little strip on top of her. Oh God, no. You know what? I'm looking in the crowd and I can't tell the difference between the men and the women. You guys, you guys all have beards. I don't know what the hell the problem is. The girls have more facial hair. Oh, that's the funny. The girls have more facial hair than the boys down here. And they ain't got no teeth, Eric. So, I got to thinking, what better way to make my debut and leave a mark in the CZW ring? I will do a strip, but you know what? I'm looking down at the crowd. I see a volunteer right there. There's a volunteer right there. Yeah, you, miss. You. Talking to the bearded guy, yeah, the pirate there. Yeah, you. Oh, wait a minute. Come, come here. Come here. I, I, I just... A little uh -oh. something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trust me. Trust uh -oh. me. Don't go there. Oh, wait a minute. Don't go there. Only if you ask me to. Abort. No, come here. Come here. It's all good. Abort. 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 I don't know if he knows what he's getting into with her. Oh, I don't I, think so either. I know who you are. I, I, I know who you are. It's Return of Dallas. What? I know who you are. Once she gets in there, she may not leave, you're, John. You're the hometown hero's wife, right? Oh. Yeah? As Mrs. Zandig, Eric. Zandig. Zandig's wife? Yeah. Anyways, I cleared this up with Zandig. Don't worry about it. Come come right in the ring. I cleared this up with Zandig. Oh, Zandig's been trying to get rid of her. her. He told me for my first show, I can do whatever I want. So you can come so, in. Because it's okay. All cleared up. It's all cleared up. Eric, no, 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 no. that's a mother for goodness Eric, sake. Come on in. Eric, Zandig's been trying to get rid of her for a long time. Is that how you met your ex-wife? Yeah, the boss been trying to get rid of her a long time, Eric. She just won't go away. She just keeps talking. You have to kick me three times to hit the whole thing. I don't know who talks for him or her. Now what I'm going to need, DJ, I'm going to need some music to take my clothes off. <laughs> I thought our junior heavyweight champion was the only guy that danced around here. Oh, you got to be I'm about to bomb it. Oh, does anybody have a paper bag? What the hell am I? What am I watching? Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. She's game, Eric. I knew he couldn't what are you trust talking her. About? I knew the boss couldn't trust his wife. Oh, look. Logan, take, Logan takes the mask off for this. Logan takes the mask off for this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's not done yet. 
Oh, come on, this is a family show. Uh oh. This is a family show. Uh oh. You think the boss is getting mad, Eric? I don't think so. I think he's hoping he takes her to Canada. Wait a minute. What kind of music is this? Oh, wait a minute. John, don't go there. John, don't go there. Oh, wait, this is, this is the boss's wife, Eric. John, don't go there. Oh, oh no! You gotta be kidding me! This is what they, this is the best they got for Canada? He's doing commentary for us, too! Boston. Pull the plug. What the? You think, you think she liked it, Eric? Uh, I don't know, but I see I see a couple couple pairs of bags packed at the front door, so maybe. I knew he had to have a plan to get rid of her. I hope those locks aren't changed back at the boss's house. Apparently, sexy Eddie hooked it up with Zandy to do that, Eric. He got the boss's blessings. Wow. And introducing his opponent from Kensington, North Philadelphia, playing a one and three quarter kegs, double shot, Ilna! John, I gotta tell you something. I'm all about the home crowd, boy, but I'm pulling for Sexy Eddie. You know why? Because the man who wins this match is going to face the white feeder in the next round. That's why. I don't know what's going on here, Eric. The only thing I do know is that you are a complete idiot because the winner of this match will square off against Arsenal. How do you like that for homework? Well, I guess I guess they're reshuffling the deck then. I guess they're reshuffling the deck. They're reseeding, as they like to call it in the NHL. And John, you know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty I'm gonna be pretty quiet this year because you know some of the comments I made about the Southern wrestlers last year, I, I'm not too very endeared down south, you know. But about as popular as Abraham Lincoln down there. I know. Oh, there's about 20 people down there looking for you. Yeah, they don't like me. They don't like the things I said last the year. The fans are very upset with you, Eric. They don't like me. All 25 of them waiting for you well, to go down south. You know what? They can keep waiting. He's gonna wrestle me. Ian Knox graduated from the CTW Wrestling Academy. He's a graduate of John Zandix. And look, he's laughing. He's laughing at Sexy Eddie. He just can't do it. Ian Knox, whose career exploded, Eric, at Cage of Death 5. That is when he became a solid five superstar here at CZ. Oh, it exploded all right, along with his rib cage, his shoulder blade, his ankle, his fibula. That's right, he paid a price now, Ian Knox. Very reluctant to lock up with Sexy Eddie, Eric. And I don't find him very sexy, do you? Well, you know what, John? I don't find any men sexy, but oh, really the fact that you even really have to ask me leaves a lot really of questions funny. to be I answered. Think, I, I think Mrs. Zandig liked it, Eric. She ran away, she pushed him off. She pushed him off and gave her her room card. Well, you know what, John? Maybe he just wanted a shirt. Got that side headlock apart now. Oh, look at that, Eric. Look at his speed. John, there's wrestling in the ultraviolet tournament of death. What did that happen? And he's bitch slapping him, John. I just punked you out. Oh, he just punked him out. He's telling Knox he just punked him out. Ian Knox may not, never competed in an ultraviolet tournament of death match, John, but he's fought in a lot of bar fights. This guy came up swinging. He knows how to throw down the necessary grab a bottle. It doesn't make a difference. Oh my goodness. What does he think he's doing? What does he think this is? Changing spaces? He's remodeling the ring now, John. We're gonna do a wrestling match. Oh come on, it's a tax strip match now. John, it just goes to show you what they've always said. The only thing about the only good thing about Canada is the syrup. And Eric, look at Ian Knox making his debut here at the tournament. This, is, this young superstar has come a long way. Graduated from the CZW Wrestling Academy. Debuted in the main event of Cage of Death 5 and since that time. Yes, he's been on the shelf. Through those injuries. He was a cruiser kick off the top of the suspended cage of Cage of Death 5. Are you writing his autobiography? Uh-oh, now he wants to write part two of that book. Here today at the tournament. I mean, you know Canadians. 
Canadians have never won anything. When's the last time a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup? I mean, they lost to the Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Lightning, John. How does a team from Canada lose a Stanley Cup to Tampa Bay? Does this guy fan study a you know, sexy Eddie? Whatever you want to call him. Does he ever shut up? Does he ever shut up? I don't know. I guess he went to the John Howe School of Speech. Now they're setting up chairs around the ring. John, this match is likely to go to a 60-minute draw without any wrestling. Fuck it out of here. Uh-oh. Knox now getting in that ring. Ian Knox now pointing outside. And, you know, again, you know, we talked about guys that were a little iffy, maybe a little nervous about getting into the tournament of death. I mean, Sexy Eddie, this guy, this guy looks like he hasn't slept for a year. Once he heard he was entered into the tournament of death. Eric, what are you talking about? It looks like he hasn't eaten in a year. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, oh wait a minute. Ian Knox has got to have about 100,000 thumbtacks in that, in that bucket. Well, he did graduate the CCW Wrestling Academy. Oh, he's, he's, he's dumping them dump tags down. He's spreading them out. Well, I'll tell you what, John, again, he graduated from the CCW Wrestling Academy. He has been in the cage of death. He was also on the match in the history of professional wrestling. So, yeah, he does have an advantage. This guy, Sexy Eddie, doesn't even look like he likes getting touched. Well, in a wrestling ring, anyway. Maybe he's a little bit scared of Ian Knox. Hey, I think it's safe for Logan to take the mask off, don't you? Here we go. Collar and elbow tie-up. Well, see, the, worst, the thing you have to worry about if you're Ian Knox is if you bust Sexy Eddie open, God only knows what kind of diseases will be flowing out of his body that could oh, Sexy Eddie Knox. Oh, he went for no, no. Uh-oh. Knee strike. Yeah. And a double under hook DDT into the stump tax. Oh, Ian Knox, look at that. He's pulling the thumbtacks out of his hand. And Eddie's retreating, John. He's retreating. Well, you can't blame him, Eric. He was just driven face first into those thumbtacks. And the only separating him and the thumbtacks is a jock strap right now, John. There's thousands of thumbtacks across that canvas. You know what, Eric? This right here might fall into the favor of Ian Knox that is not picking up so fast. It being the being that this is his first death match. Yeah. Well, and this is his first match back there for several months on the sidelines with that separated shoulder. Yeah, that he's suffering at the hands of Adam Flash, Eric. And there's a way to open up things, John. What a shot, what a hard-hitting shot that was from Ian Knox. And Ian Knox rolling him in. Hey, thank God, thank God he left the alligator costume at home this year. He just threw those thumbtacks right into the eye of Ian Knox. That's going to make him mad. He blinded him. And now you can see both men, they have thumbtacks stuck to various parts of their body. Uh-oh. Scooping up Ian Knox. Tries him down on those thumbtacks. And Eric, you don't want to make Ian mad. There goes those beer muscles. And I saw Ian Knox over in Italy. Eric. Yeah. Flip a car over in Italy by himself. Well, you know what? I didn't see it, but I'll have to take your word for it. Uh, with those beer muscles. Come on, get up. And you know my get word's up. worth about a million bucks. Well, yeah. What a clothesline. Look at Ian, he's just absorbing the pain. And John, he's playing in the Sexy Eddie's game right now. Eddie wanted to turn this into a wrestling match, and Ian Knox has gotten completely away from youth and the fun tacks of the boards. This is Eddie's game right now. This is his game plan. It's a smart game plan, if you ask me. Ian Knox is like a pin cushion now with those thumbtacks. Uh-oh. And again, get his face. He breaks his face with those thumbtacks. Right? And the game plan, take it away to take this into a wrestling match. Make it a wrestling match. Take the tournament of death stipulations away from it. And that's what he's doing. Oh, look at that. Stomping away on the Ian Knox. Driving those tacks into the chest. Look at Ian Knox. He's, a lot of, he's screaming out there. Oh, absolutely. And maybe the advantage that Ian Knox has is Eddie is not a regular CCW competitor, so maybe he's unaware of Ian Knox's previous shoulder injury. That's right. You think Ian Knox did his homework on, on Eddie? I doubt it. Uh oh, shoots him off reverse. That's the power of Knox. Drives the shoulder in. He's such a powerful young man, John. There are times when we've seen him do things. He doesn't even know the power of his own strength. Big vertical suplex there by Ian Into Knox. Into the thumbtack. Textbook suplex there. That's the blue chipper. Yep. That's Zandig's blue chipper. Debuted at September Slam against Chris Cash and GQ. And John, who would have thought back in September of 2001 that three years later we'd be seeing Ian Knox and Chris Cash, two of the three participants in this year's tournament of death. Ian Knox now clubbing away with those forearms. Now sets Eddie up in the corner, shoots him off. No, he reversed it. Oh! Right, it's not four. 
Eddie follows through with the knee. It looks like Eddie's legs. Those boys got nails sticking out of him, Eric. They're not going to their nails. And Eddie's legs look to be lacerated, which could pose a problem as well. He turns him over. Looks like he's going to give him a wheelbarrow suplex. And, uh, so those boards, wheelbarrow suplex. There's got to be thousands of thumbtacks on that canvas. He may be a his back, just smacked against all of them. He may be setting him up for sex on the beach, John. Oh, that's nasty, Eric. That is nasty. Yeah. We have children watching these videos. That's nasty. Eddie with a with an Irish whip to the Irish man himself. What a total world, face first. So there's thumbtacks that are going right in the stomach. Poor Ian Knox, you know, I actually feel a little bad for him at this point in his match. Do you really? And again, no matter what you think of Ian Knox, John, you gotta pull for the hometown boy. You know, so Ian Knox has gotta be learned a lesson anyway, Eric. There it is, six on the beach! Sex on the beach, it looks like Ian Knox may have countered. Hard to tell. Nope, not enough. Two kicks there. Look at our referee, Eric. He got a shield on. Well, you know what? Before this match is all said and done, we may have to put an X rating on the screen with the sexy Eddie. Don't know what he's capable of. Clobbering away there on Ian Knox, pushes him into that corner, sets him up on that top turnbuckle. You could be nailing anything up there. Maybe a superplex, maybe a hurricane rata. Knox now fighting back with those uppercuts. Oh, yeah. Kick to the midsection. Uh oh. Oh, he just scooped him up and drove him down on that kick. You've seen a lot of body slams in this matchup, John, and that is, of course, because the thumbtacks are all over the place. They're utilizing those thumbtacks to their advantage. Now Ian Knox climbing that top rope. Uh oh. That sent that, that swanton elbow. That sent on elbow, pardon me. And he planted him with that elbow. Well, it's funny because the only thing I can see is Brian Logan's big fat ass. Knox now holding his arm. And, and Eddie holding his back. Both well, Eddie and Ian Knox are in the canvas. Ian Knox now on his knees. On one knee. Ian Knox to his feet now. Eddie's still down, getting up. Uh-oh. Blocked by Ian Knox. Ian Knox clubbing away there on Eddie. Uh-oh, slap him. He's hit him hard, John. He's hit him real hard. Back. Ian Knox. That's about, what's Logan even bothering counting for? What's he going to disqualify him in the tournament of death? Oh! And John, that's got to be it. Sit down with that choke slam. Ian Knox connected with that off switch, but only got a two count there. And Eddie put his leg on the rope. Under the bottom rope, Eric. It's under the bottom rope, and he had to, the referee had to stop that three count. And Ian Knox now has a big smile on his face. He looks like he's getting into the spirit of the tournament of death, don't you think? Well, Ian Knox has been waiting for this moment for a few weeks now, Eric, ever since he found out that he was going to be a participant in this tournament of death. And he knows that he can make an even bigger name for himself if he can win this thing. Well, Eddie's got to get out of there, John. I mean, you don't drown by falling in water. You drown by staying there. And Eddie's doing exactly what he needs to do by getting up on his feet. Eric, where do you think Mrs. Zandig is? Out there waiting in the, in the, out there in sexy Eddie's car waiting for him? Probably at home changing the locks. And Eddie, pound away on Ian Knox. Going up top with the trash can. Ian Knox is in a lot of trouble right now, Eric. He's in a bad predicament, a bad situation. And Eddie looks like he's going up top, baby. Maybe he's taking too long, Eric. Oh, man, man. You gotta be kidding me, John. That moves, you gotta be nuts, John. Talk about sacrifice. Talk about sacrifice. He pulled his head up, John. He's not done, John. He said he wants to end his career, Eric. He wants to end his career. One of Zandig's boys. Yeah. He's going to take out one of his boys and then take his wife home with him. Looks like he's going for a power bomb there. And the thumbtack. Ian Knox. Listen to him, John, right now. He's like a monster. It's just become unleashed. The devil inside of him. There you go. Oh. All the way slam. Uh oh Knox lost his balance. Uh oh Knox now to climbing in ropes. Oh, wait a minute. They're going outside. 
And he blocked it now, kicking away on the end now. A roundhouse kick to the sternum. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's it. John, Sexy Eddie is going on to the next round where we have been told he will take on Arsenal. And what a matchup that should be, Eric. But you got to give it to Ian Knox, the courage, the heart. Even though he got his ass off, he has a lot of courage. Could you imagine? Could you imagine what would happen if Sexy Eddie won our tournament of chess? We would be a laughing stock. Combat Zone Wrestling would be a laugh. We might as well start shooting. He took out one of his Andy's boys. He's taking his wife home. And could he go home with a tournament of death row? We may as well just start shaking hands and giving hugs and kisses out if our match is in the ring. If this guy walks out of here with the tournament of death trophy, he's close to making that happen. out of all of our first rounders so far to have left the match with the least amount of punishment absorbed. Absolutely taking it out on Ian Knox and he still wasn't done with him. Ian Knox is not happy, Eric. And pure muscles must be kicking in.